The Dana is one of the prides of the former Czechoslovakian defense industry. Even though it is now 40 years old, this wheeled self-propelled gun howitzer and its derivatives continue to fight in recent conflicts successfully. Today, we are investigating the Dana, a revolutionary artillery system that has opened a new era. The Dana takes its name from the initials of the Czech words Gelo Automobilni Nabiene Automatiski, which means gun motor vehicle loaded automatically. But we think that the most meaningful translation is automatically loaded self-propelled gun. Especially after the 1990s, many upgraded variants of the self-propelled gun howitzers, or shortly SPGH, have been introduced with different names. So, Dana now refers to the parental name of an artillery system family rather than a single vehicle. In the early decades of the First Cold War, unlike the Western Bloc, the Eastern Bloc had not prioritized self-propelled artillery. This situation changed in the late 1960s and the USSR introduced the 122mm 2S1 and 152mm 2S3 in the early 1970s. Like their Western counterparts, they were tracked vehicles. Other Warsaw Pact members immediately complied with this transformation and began to adopt the Goazdikas and Akatsias. But Prague thought differently. In 1969, Czechoslovakian defense company Konstrukte Trenčin began a study to develop an indigenous wheeled self-propelled artillery based on the 8x8 Tatra 815 truck. Since the First World War, the armies had preferred truck self-propelled artillery vehicles because they had to follow the tanks on the open field. However, the highway networks in Europe became significantly widespread in the late 1960s. Wheeled vehicles could efficiently serve in most operational areas of a possible Third World War. Unlike their track counterparts, since they didn't damage the motorways, they didn't require tank transporters. Also, wheeled vehicles had relatively low manufacturing and running costs, and since they had lower fuel consumption, they had a higher range. So, Czechoslovakia approved the project in 1970, and Konstrukte Trenčin produced two prototypes in 1972 and 1973. Company tests continued by 1974, and the Czechoslovak People's Army trials began. In 1977, Czechoslovakia decided to acquire the new SPGH called Dana. Its army designation was 152mm Samohybna Kononova Vufnisa Zor 77, or shortly 152mm Sha KH Zor 77, meaning 152mm self propelled gun howitzer model 77. The ZTS Dubnitsa Nadvahom was tasked with serial production. By entering the service of the Czechoslovak People's Army in 1980, the Dana became the first operational wheeled SPGH. The Dana was developed at the same time as the South African G6. However, these two programs were completely separate from each other. South Africa designed the G6 for long-range raids in Savannah. The Czechoslovaks developed the Dana as an SPGH that could use highways in a full-scale war. Being a real SPGH was not the only feature which made the Dana revolutionary. The SPGH had an automatic loader which increased the rate of fire. In fact, the Swedish Bandkanon 1 was the first with this feature, but its magazine type autoloader holds single piece rounds. The automatic loader of the Dana loaded the projectile and the charges separately. This design has been adapted to many modern SPHs later. The driver and commander are seated at the front of the vehicle. Both have a windscreen covered with a shutter with two vision blocks during the action. There is also a vision block on the sides of the front cabin for the driver and commander. The left cabin of the turret houses the gunner and loader operator. The ammunition handler is in the right cabin and manually sets the fuses of the projectiles. The welded steel armor of the SPGH protects against small arms fire and shell splinters. The SPGH can fight in the MBC environment. The Dana has good cross-country mobility thanks to its 8x8 drive and central tire inflation system. The driver can adjust the tire pressure when the vehicle is on the move. Power steering is provided for the four front wheels. 
The Dana carries 40 rounds as standard. In this case, the combat weight of the SBGH is 28,100 kilograms. But on demand, it can carry 60 rounds, in which case the maximum road speed decreases to 70 km per hour since the combat weight increases to 29,250 kg. The range of VL Dana is 740 km with 500 liters of fuel. On the other hand, Dana's Soviet counterpart, the Track 2S3, could travel only 500 km with its 850 liter fuel capacity. The Dana becomes ready to fire within 2 minutes after stopping and can leave its firing position within 1 minute. During the firing, to stabilize the SPGH, 3 hydraulic jacks, one at the rear and one on either side between the second and third road wheels, are lowered to the ground by the driver. The 152mm gun is mounted in the aisle between two separate cabins of the turret. Since it is outside the turret, the necessity of the fume extractor is eliminated. The gun has a horizontal wedge-type breech mechanism. The empty cartridge cases are ejected as the breech opens and the cartridge cases are then removed using a moving belt. The gun can be loaded at all angles of elevation. The gunner can select either single shots or fully automatic fire. If the autoloader fails, the gun can be loaded manually. But in this case, the rate of fire reduces to 2 rounds per minute. The Dana has drag fire capability thanks to its OP538D sight. The crew of the Dana is 5 person. The SPGH is 11.16 meters long, 3 meters wide and 2.85 meters high. Its combat weight is 29,250 kilograms. The 345 horsepower Tatra 2939-34 air-cooled diesel engine provides a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. The range of the vehicle is 740 km. The Dana can negotiate 0.6 meter vertical steps, 2 meter trenches, and it can fort to a depth of 1.4 meters. The 152 mm 37 caliber gun has a range of 18,700 meters with a standard projectile and 25,500 meters with an extended range full bore base bleed projectile. The standard rate of fire is 5 rounds per minute, while its sustained rate of fire is 30 rounds in 7 minutes. The elevation of the gun is between minus 4 and plus 70 degrees. The barrel can be traversed at 225 degrees on both sides. A 12.7 mm machine gun can be fitted over the handler's position. Over time, Czechia and Slovakia, the successor states of Czechoslovakia, have developed updated variants of the Dana. First, we will look at the Czech models. The Ondava was fitted with a 152mm 47 caliber gun, which enabled a maximum range of 32,000 meters. It also had a 355 horsepower Tatra T3 930-52 diesel engine. But the Ondava never passed the prototype stage. The Czech Excalibur Army Company introduced the Dana M1 modernization in the late 2010. This variant has the modernized 355 horsepower T3 930 52M engine with a new turbocharger and compressed air intercooler. It is also fitted with an advanced fire control system. The reconfigured front cabin of the Dana M1 has four big bulletproof glasses and increased crew comfort. Although Czechia was not interested in the Dana M1, Azerbaijan has adopted this variant. In addition to the original modernization package, the Azerbaijani Dana M1Ms have Albert made auxiliary power unit, communication and command equipment, a driver's night vision camera, and a fire control system. Poland and Ukraine have preferred the Dana M2 modernization. Thanks to its advanced computerized automatic fire control system, this variant can be operated by a two-person crew. Poland chose the Dana M2 due to the delay on the curled track-mounted howitzer program developed based on the Israeli Atmos 2000. Between 2003 and 2010, the Polish Danas had already been fitted with the Topaz Artillery Fire Control System, which are redesignated as Dana T. Since the Dana M2 modernization kept the original short-range 152mm L37 gun, the Dana M2 acquisition caused some debates in the Ukrainian parliament. The latest Dita variant of Excalibur Army has a new turret with a 155mm 45 caliber gun with a range of 39,000 meters. 
The vehicle is fitted with the 400 horsepower Tatra T3D 92890 engine. Currently, no order has been given for the Dita. Development works on the Zuzana began in 1992. But one year later, Czechoslovakia peacefully split into two sovereign states and ZTS Dubnica nad Vahom became a Slovakian company. The Zuzana was developed based on the Ondava, but differently, it has a 155mm 45 caliber gun. The Grand Forces of the Slovak Republic took the Zuzana into service in 1998, which made it the first member of the former Warsaw Pact to adopt the NATO 155mm SVGH. The gun has a new breech mechanism and is fitted with a double baffle muzzle brake with no fume extractor. The Zuzana has a computerized fire control system, a land navigation system and a sight with automatic leveling. Its firing range is 39,600 meters. The turret of the Zuzana was also fitted on the T-72 hull. This variant, called A-40 Himalaya, was developed for the Indian SPH tender, but it failed. The modern variant had a 152mm 42 caliber gun. It had a computer control system compatible with the one used in Zuzana. Since the ZTS Dubnica nad Vahom was bankrupt, Konstrukta Defense has continued development efforts for the new variants of the Zuzana. The company introduced the Zuzana XA1 with redesigned forward cabin in 2002. It was based on the 8x8 Tatra 817 truck instead of the Tatra 815. Even though this variant never passed the prototype stage, it became the base vehicle for the Zuzana 2. The Zuzana 2 has a new 155mm 52 caliber gun and a 360 degree traversable turret. The SPGH is fitted with the 436 horsepower Tatra T3D 92870 diesel engine. Slovakia acquired 25 Zuzana 2s between 2021 and 2022. The SPGH can fire VLAP munition with a range of 51,500 meters thanks to its new gun. It has multiple rounds simultaneous impact capability. In addition to Slovakia, Ukraine also selected the Zuzana 2. Azerbaijan, Cyprus, Czechia, Georgia, Poland, Slovakia and Ukraine are the current users of the Dana and its derivatives. Czechoslovakia, Libya and the USSR are the former users. The Soviet army quickly realized the advantages of a wheeled SPGH when the Dana was introduced. But the USSR did not want to acquire it due to its short firing range and began to develop an indigenous system based on the Kras CHR-3130 8x8 truck. But later, this program failed and the Soviet army took 126 Danas into service to use it in the central group of forces. When the Warsaw Pact was disbanded in 1991, all SPGHs were redeployed to Kazakhstan. But a few months later, the USSR was also dissolved and the newly established armed forces of the Republic of Kazakhstan did not want to keep the Danas. So, they were sent to Georgia. Greece acquired 12 Zuzanas from Slovakia and then gave them to Cyprus. The Dana was baptized with fire during the Chadian-Libyan War. They also fought during the civil wars in Libya. Georgia used its Danas against Russia during the 2008 Russo-Georgian War. The Russian army destroyed two of them and captured another two. Poland deployed five Danas in Afghanistan. They successfully performed many fire support missions. Azerbaijan used its Dana M1Ms in the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war. One Dana M1M was captured by the Armenian forces. The Ukrainian Danas, Dana M2s and Zuzana 2s are currently fighting against the Russian invasion. One Ukrainian Zuzana 2 was destroyed by a Russian Lancet loitering munition. Even though Czechia, one of the origin countries, has decided to replace its Danas with the Cesar, this over 40-year-old SPGH and its derivatives continue to defy time. The Dana was the pioneer of the wheeled SPGH and it has changed the concept. The Dana, the pride of the former Czechoslovakian defense industry, undoubtedly deserves to be mentioned as a legend. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.